Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and I thought, what better day to tackle the St. Patrick's Sandwich from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936. First thing we gotta do, cook some split peas. Okay, now we butter a thin slice of bread. All right, now we season with a little salt, pepper, and turn it into pulp. You might be tempted to say, Barry, don't you think they meant mushy peas like in England? No. This is an American cookbook, 1936, and it called for pea pulp, specifically. Now we spread a thin layer of our pea pulp onto the buttered bread. Then we top that with a slice of cheese that has a shamrock uh, stamped out of it with a cookie cutter. I don't have a shamrock cookie cutter, so I used a knife. Not very well either. Okay, let's give this St. Patrick's sandwich a go. This is exactly what you think it would be. A uh, mild cheddar cheese with peas that have been seasoned with salt and pepper on buttered bread. It is not greater than the sum of its parts, um, and I don't feel particularly lucky for having tried it. But I do want to try and plus it up uh, two different ways. I'm going to add a little fresh dill, a little mint. I mean, mint goes with peas, and the other day I tried a mint and cheese sandwich and it worked pretty well, so I figured let's give it a go. Okay, let's give this St. Patrick's sandwich plussed up with fresh dill. A go. That is nice. Get a nice bright punch of dill, contrast with the richness of the cheese, and definitely helps to up-level the peas, which aren't really that flavorful to begin with. Now let's give the St. Patrick's sandwich plussed up with mint. A go. I think I might be coming around on mint. Um, this is actually working really well. There's a brightness and a freshness to it. Again, different than dill, not quite as uh, tangy or sharp, but it plays off the richness of the cheese and helps to definitely elevate the peas. Well, I gotta say, I don't feel very lucky having had the St. Patrick's sandwich, the original version. Uh, the peas were just kind of there, even though they were seasoned with salt and pepper. Cheese was there. It was fine. I'm gonna give it a four. Um, plus up with the dill, that's probably more like a six, actually. That's a pretty good, tasty combination. Plus up with the mint, same thing, six. Definitely gonna finish those. I will never make this again, because why? <laughs> but yeah, I'll finish them. Why not? All right. Happy St. Patrick's Day. See you tomorrow.